How's it going everyone? Justin here with my man Justin's Collectible Emporium and I'm your man for Pokemon cards, card analysis, and Pokemon investment consulting. Today I'm just doing a video on a collection I just purchased. It's a pretty nice collection. There's a lot of cards in it. It's, it's in two different binders and I'm just going to go through it, talk about some of the cards. Uh, it's pretty diverse, um, but mainly in the XY black and white uh, maybe a few Sun and Moon type of era, uh, but there is a few really cool cards in it and I even got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh cards so when I show them, if you do know about Yu-Gi-Oh and you want to point out any that you know, notice that are more valuable, uh, please feel free to uh, comment that in the comment section. Let me know, hey, that's a valuable one because I have never sold Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So this will be a new addition to my store. I'll have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. So let's just get into these binders real quick. I'll do some analysis. I'll talk about why I purchased it. And I'll talk about any notable cards. Let's get into it. So here we go. Here's, this is the first binder. There's another bigger binder back here, which mainly has just bulk cards. And usually what I do with those is if they are from valuable sets, I'll put them in a, in a near complete lot and then I'll sell it as a lot. The other ones I will sell, uh, send in to someone that, that buys bulk, usually trades them for a booster box. So. I got a little collection of those building up already, so I'll be able to add to it. So here on this first page, we've got some Latios and Latias cards. Here is a couple, uh, I think these are black and white era ones, um, but some kind of uh, less seen ones, like this one for example, is uh, from the, the Dragon Vault, I believe, which is a cool little mini set. And... Uh, this, uh, these couple right here from the X and Y era, Hole on Phantoms, and this is the Rare Hollow. Pretty cool little card, It'll probably worth around 10, a little, little under. Um, here's another one from that, the Latios Trainer, Latios, that trainer kit. Little mini set as well, Hollow. Definitely be interesting for someone collecting Latios and Latias. Here's another one from the trainer kit. So, good to see that. Dragon types always run a little more than other cards. And let's get into it deeper. So more dragon. So this guy was also a fan of the dragon type, as I am myself. Got the white Chirums, black Chirums, black and white arrow rare holo, another white and then black one. I'll probably sell those in a little lot together. Here we have some, here's a black and white, uh, one of the plasma uh, set ones uh, here. Always good to see these ones, the the level X cards. These are getting a little more popular. They, they've raised in price a little bit. They haven't increased in price as much as the uh, EX era and, and Wizard of the Coast era cards, but they have seen a bit of an increase. I, I'd say probably about a 10% versus about the 33% increase in the last year that we've seen from the Wizards of the Coast era cards in some of the, the EX era. Nice uh, level X as well. Some standard EX cards. These are kind of staple cards for any shop. They're um, they're cheaper, so people don't have to make a big investment um, to buy them. It's a quick, easy buy, which are good to have, you know, because they they do add up when you have two, three, and four dollar cards in your shop. Uh, when you sell a hundred a week, you know that's an extra three or four hundred dollars that you're going to add to your revenue and that's that, that's something that that's important um good to see these full art i really like these um uh full art secret rares from the x and y era this the breakthrough mewtwo has been, always been really popular it's about a little over ten dollar card this mew uh rc radiant collection promo is a great mew i i've talked about it before i think it is one of the nicer Mew artworks and it has that Radiant Collection specific hollow pattern which looks really nice. Uh, I think it's one of the nicer Mew artworks uh, alongside say the Shining Mew from the Japanese Neo Destiny set. I think it actually really is, is on par with that card while you know and that card is about 10 times or more maybe even 20 times more cost than this one. So it's a nice card for any Mew collector and they can afford to purchase it usually. So it's nice to have that. Some more Mews and Mewtwo's. Um, this card right here is a nice little card. Uh, the Pokemon Rumble. This is a nice, unique little subset. 
that was released. There's um, 16 cards in it. I've had this card before and it was in, it had like a crease and I think it sold for like 12 or $15. So this card right here in this condition is probably about a $25 card, which is very nice. There's the, I think that's the EX Dragon. No, not the EX Dragon, um, I'm sorry. Something with dragon in it. Well, it's a black and white set. Um, so we'll move on. Some more level X cards. These are always good to see in a, in a lot. They sell well. They're going up in price. Dark Rise is a cool Pokemon. These little special promos, uh, I think these were in the, the boxes, sell pretty well. The Prime, the uh, Tyranitar is one of the more valuable Prime cards along with the Mew, so that's about an $8 or $9 card. Salamence here is about a $25 card I just recently sold one for. In better condition, they can sell upwards of 40 in about mint condition. Here's this, uh, another one of the promo X and Y era cards. This card is cool here. This is from the EX era Pop Series 2 promo. It's a nice little card. Some full arts, some more prime cards. Got some black and white full art cards. That's, that's a nice little uh, five, six dollar card. Same with the Reshiram. Um, <clears throat> the full art Houndoom is a nice little card, about a five, six dollar card. And it's good to see cards in that five and six dollar range. It's kind of the sweet spot for cards. Some break cards. I'll probably sell those in a little lot. Evolutions, the Radiant Collection Flareon is, an, is a nice card it sells. This Full Art Primal Kyogre is about an $18, $20 card. So that's a nice little card. Same thing with this Mega Gyarados, it's about a $10 card. Got some duplicates of these Kyogres. Here's just some EXs and Mega EXs. Just kind of solid staple cards. You know, they, they don't sell super fast, but they do sell. And, and that's a good thing for a store because you know that within a month or two max, they'll be sold. This Mega Blastoise is a really popular card from XY Evolutions. Uh, again, about an eight, nine dollar card. Here's a couple Charizards. This is a black and white era Charizard, a little older, just before X and Y. These two Mega Rayquazas here is also seven, eight dollar cards. Those are good. Also, you know, they're not super fast sellers, but within a month or two they sell. So that, that's a good thing. Th there are cards that, that, the cards I don't like to list, for example, would be something like this. Like this Kyogre right here could take up to three, four months to sell. And I like to have them move a bit faster than that so I can get a return on my money to buy new collections and keep the kind of the store moving. Some more kind of standard EX cards. Here we have some of the Legend cards. These are great to see. We have the Palkia Dialga. We have the Kyogre Groudon and the Darkrai Cresselia. And that's cool because it's the top half too, which that shows the Darkrai. I think it's a really, really interesting Darkrai artwork. There's none other that looks like that. It kind of has the uh, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas kind of feel artwork to it, which is, which is pretty cool. Some full arts. Here's a, a black and white era full art. Those go for a little more. They're a little older. Here's the from the earlier, like this is the Emerging Powers kind of era of black and white. The earlier, these, these sets were not that popular. They only had a few full art cards in it. It was just a little underwhelming, but they really improved with the later sets because they also released some of the shinies which there is some of those in this set which is really cool I, I love the shinies i actually sent a bunch of them into psa because i think they're going to be a really hot card in the future once they become a little older and a little more scarce but we'll just talk about those this septile ex is a pretty popular card it'll be uh a, above ten dollar card most likely same thing with dragonite here around that ten dollar range this gengar here too around kind of uh, above the six, seven perhaps. All these here, all the cards on this page are, are gonna be around the five and six dollar range. 
Here is, this is the Secret Rare Mega Heracross, still only about a 4 or $5 card. Some more EX cards. Here's a, the Mega Latios here, it's going to be about $6. And here is that shiny card I was talking about. I really like this subset of shinies. I, th I think uh, the black and white era really redeemed themselves when they started releasing the shiny cards. Uh, they did like a, a few per set. Uh, and the first few sets in black and white just were really underwhelming. They didn't have much at all. And then they started coming out with the heat late in, in the later sets, including these shiny cards. And like I said, I think these will be cards that are good to, to buy now and hold on to for a couple years. Because right now, they're not that exp I mean, they still cost a little bit. Um, <clears throat> for example, the Gardevoir. I think I just sold for around $100, uh, maybe maybe a little over $100, and um, I just think it's, the, it's a really beautiful set, the textured hollow, um, they're just really solid shiny cars and they're secret rares, so I think it's a good set to, uh, to hold on to, get them while they're a little cheaper and hold on to for a long-term investment, get them graded. Uh, get them in the, in the best conditions you can since they're still available right now and make that investment. So like I said, I have I have almost the complete set of them right now at PSA. I don't have the Blastoise and I don't have the Charizard with them um, and a couple others, but for the most part, it's almost a complete shiny set. So I will showcase that as, as soon as I get them back. These next pages here, nothing super... Interesting, there's actually another Verizian. Interestingly, you have two of the same shiny. This one just has, I thought it had, I thought I saw a crease in it, but I guess I, I guess not. So here, another Verizian, very cool. This one seems to be in a little better, oh, there's the crease, I knew I saw a crease. There's a little crease in the back, you can't really see it much in the front, which is nice. But so it's still it'll still look great in a binder. This, this will still be a very collectible card. And having cards like that, when you buy collections, you want to have at least a, a these a few of these higher end ticket cards because you know it's it's really hard to scratch out a profit out of these a lot of the time. I mean you're making a dollar fifty cents a card some of the times, and it's nice to have a few of these higher end ticket cards to kind of boost it up to allow you to make at least a little bit of profit for doing all the work of, of selling all these cards individually and doing everything it takes, answering questions, dealing with the people that get the cards and say they didn't, having to refund them, which is really unfortunate uh, that people will be dishonest about receiving cards sometimes. But for the most part, people are honest and good and that's uh, really nice to see. Some more EX cards. Some of these rare non-hollows from the, those, are, those I'll just send in for bulk most likely and we got some just kind of rares here here's some fake cards actually these are all proxies if you don't know how to, you don't, if you don't know how to spot these um, one thing you can do is when you tear them you can see that it has this little cheap layer on top like that yeah, that's a total fake no real cards don't do that so And those were all; those were actually those weren't in the picture, so he didn't sell them as really part of the set. They were just thrown in, so I'm not really worried about it. Now we get into this one. Here on the first page, we've got a couple cool cards. This Mewtwo, for example, is definitely a card that I will sell, even as a rare non-hollow part of the. It's, it's a Mewtwo, and it's part of an older set, an EX era set. This here's that Jirachi. I think it came inside the the movie. Uh, as, as a promotional card, this Dark Dragonair from EX Team Rocket Returns. These I will sell individually because people are buying these right now. Um, here's the also the Team Rocket's Meowth. Nice little Meowth card. Most of the cards in this collection here are just kind of bulk stuff. There's a few nice little cards here. We have this Prime Caesar. We have this little Zoroark promo and this rare hollow from Dragon Frontiers. So those I'll put to the side, just like this Typhlosion. 
So this is something I, I haven't gone through yet, really, but um, I will have to go through it. Here's a cool little Pikachu Libre card. Definitely going to be interesting for Pikachu collectors. It's not very common you see that card. Um, this Dark Tyranitar here. The World Championship promo from 2005. It's a cool little card. And this 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 binder, um, I didn't know what I was getting in it. So this is all kind of, a, it was all a surprise. I've already glanced at it. But it's definitely a fun part of buying binders is when you, there is some card you don't know what it's going to be, but you, you make your purchase based on the cards that you can see. And then everything else is kind of a plus, and you can ju you just hope that there's going to be something that really sweetens up the deal. In this case, nothing too crazy. Um, just you know, little things like this will help me get my uh, my investment back. Even little cards like this, it'll be a couple dollars, but everything really helps um, because the the profit margins are getting really tight right now with Pokemon collections, because like I've said, there are a lot of people competing for these binders right now, especially on eBay. There's an extreme amount of competition and it makes it so, it's really hard to get a price that you can make some really good money. So um, so this, is a, this, this here will be another card that I do list individually, but a bulk of these, I will just be putting in stacks of 100 and sending off to people that purchase bulk. Here's a couple nice little cards that I will keep. Here's a nice, um, this is either Fire Red Leaf Green or Ruby and Sapphire. It's, it's definitely one of the EX era hollows. So it's fun to go through, check out the cards. Um, I'll see if there are a large amount of a certain set and see if I want to put it together in a near complete set. Because that, that's something is, is a much better way to get a greater profit out of than just sending them in as bulk. Here, this Vaporeon, I will probably sell alongside that Jolteon. Here's uh, Team Aqua's Wall Rain. That'll be a card I list. This, this, this collection has a lot of these League promos in it. Uh, World, Ch World Championship promos in it. The, the, they're always worth a bit less than the non-World Championship card, but they're still a card that, that is a potential sell that doesn't take too long. Here's a nice pop promo happening. That'll be a card that's worth selling individually. This is an interesting card. I think this is a McDonald's promo right here. Really nice hollow pattern there. So as we get to the back, we're going to get to these Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well. And I'll check those out. Now, here is a nice card. Crystal Guardians is a nice little set. And an Ivysaur and any of the uh, base evolution Pokemon are a little more popular from the first gen evolutions of the starter Pokemon. Yeah, there's a League promo. Another World Championship card. So what I'll probably really do, what I'll be looking for in this set is um, EX era to see if I could put it together a little near complete EX era set. This is a cool little, I'll, I'll sell these together. These two world championship, world championship promos, the evolutions of Magnemite and Magneton. So just, just bulk kind of stuff. This kind of stuff definitely sent into bulk. And here we get to the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like I said, I've never sold Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm guessing that it's similar to Pokemon where the holographic Pokemon or holographic cards will be more valuable. So I don't, but I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna have to go through and um, 
price them all out to see if there are or are any that are you know worth an especially higher amount here's the skill blue magician it looks kind of cool so yeah if you see anything that you notice let me know There's another skilled blue magician. They're pretty cool looking cards. They kind of remind me of Magic the Gathering. Which I also don't know about much. And have never sold. Most of these are, oh here's, a, here's another dragon that's hollow. Labr Labradorite dragon. It's like a dragon mixed with a Labrador, maybe. We got the Performa Paul Turn Toad. Power Tool dragon. I'm guessing that the dragons are more more valuable in here. This has got like a cool hollow pattern. I don't know if that means anything. Michael the Arc Light Sworn. We got the Light Sworn Sanctuary. So yeah, I don't know. If you see anything cool, you notice it, be like, hey, Justin, that card is a valuable card. And I'll be like, oh, cool. Sounds good. Goblin Attack Force. Um, so yeah, here's... Kaiser Seahorse. And it's kind of cool to uh, to have some little more diversity in my shop and be able to have some cards for Yu-Gi-Oh collectors, especially if these are cards that are collectible and the kind of cards people want. That would be a big plus. But I don't know what I'm dealing with yet. So there it is, new collection. I will be listing this beginning today. I'll start listing the cards on my shop, eBay user, my man Justin, and shop is called My Man Justin's Collectible Emporium. If you saw something that you're interested in, please feel free to check out my shop, and I will see you on the next broadcast. Thank you.